गुड मॉर्निंग आई एम डॉक्टर रश्मि रंजन पाठी चीफ ऑफ न्यूरो इंटरवेंशनल यूनिट एट जी के एन एम हॉस्पिटल कोयम्बतूर लेट एस नो अबाउट स्ट्रोक स्ट्रोक इज ए डिवास्टेटिंग कंडीशन इट्स वन ऑफ द मोस्ट कॉमन कॉज ऑफ डेथ वी शुड नो द साइंस एंड सिम्टम्स ऑफ स्ट्रोक सो दैट वेन स्ट्रोक हैपन्स द पेशेंट कैन कम टू हॉस्पिटल इमिडिएटली सो स्ट्रोक हैपन्स बिकॉज द ब्लड सप्लाई टू पार्ट ऑफ ब्रेन गेट्स ऑब्स्ट्रक्टेड एक्यूटली सो वंस द ब्लड सप्लाई टू ब्रेन इज कट ऑफ देन दैट पार्ट ऑफ ब्रेन स्टॉप्स फंक्शनिंग एंड वंस दैट पार्ट ऑफ ब्रेन स्टॉप्स फंक्शन इट इट मैनिफेस्ट लाइक वीकनेस ऑफ अपर लिम और लोअर लिम और देयर स्पीच विल बी इनकम्प्रीहेंसिबल लाइक दे कैनॉट स्पीक प्रॉपरली और समटाइम्स दे विल लूज देयर वॉइस टोटली यू आज देयर नेम दे कैनॉट से देयर नेम एंड समटाइम्स यू नोटिस द माउथ इज डिवेटिंग टू वन साइड like facial the face facial muscles will be debating to answer so these are the simple things you can notice if a stroke if, if you encounter a stroke patient in your home once it happens do remember there is no fast aid available for stroke so once it happens don't try to give anything by mouth some people they give sugar some people they give water some people they give bp medicine some people they give blood thinners please don't do all those things at your home the best thing you can do to help the patient that is either your father or mother or grandfather or brother to bring to a nearby hospital where the treatment the comprehensive treatment of stroke is available i mean there is a treatment called thrombolysis iv thrombolysis where we give if the patient comes early to our hospital within 4.5 hours we inject through the vein it goes and dissolves the clot in the brain so the that part of brain gets again the blood supply another treatment we call mechanical thrombectomy where we go inside the brain and remove the clot by using different techniques like sometimes we use aspiration catheter sometimes we take a stent retriever so by this technique we remove the clot once we remove the clot the brain gets again blood supply and the patient shows dramatic improvement these are the two main treatment for ischemic stroke there is another variety of stroke we call hemorrhagic stroke in hemorrhagic stroke what happens there will be bleeding inside the brain inside the brain parenchyma brain tissue there will be bleeding once that bleeding happens that part of brain gets damaged and sometimes there will be mass effect mass effect i mean it will compress it will compress it will push the other side of the brain to other side so that will cause neurological deficit so in that condition uh, again same thing don't do anything at home come to your hospital same symptoms will be same you cannot distinguish uh, ischemic from hemorrhagic stroke so you have to come to hospital again we will do a simple test like a ct scan brain to find out what is the or what is the where is the bleeding and uh, depending on the clinical condition amount of bleed then the uh, then the treatment will be started so these are the two uh, main mod- uh, uh, the division of strokes one is ischemic stroke and hemorrhage then people ask why stroke happens why it's me why it not others there are many risk factors for stroke so one of the most important risk factors is smoking if you are smoking actively smoking or even passively smoking you are exposed to getting stroke if you are smoking uh, make sure you quit smoking so that is a must the other risk factors like diabetes if you have a diabetes for long time then your blood vessels will get affected and that can cause stroke hypertension chronic kidney disease cardiac problems like heart arrhythmias they can cause stroke like heart there is uh, defect septal defects that can cause also stroke so these are the different causes of stroke so if we uh, do a healthy if we lead a healthy lifestyle if you take a healthy diet if you do exercise most of the time two third of cases we can avoid a stroke but some patients even after doing even if they are fit they don't have a risk factor age is itself a risk factor once you cross 60 once you cross 70 that becomes a risk factor for stroke and if you have family history of stroke like your parents are suffering from stroke there is a chance you will get stroke you should be more careful like you should abstain from smoking you should maintain your ideal body weight your blood sugar should be at uh, con- uh, should be at normal level your lipid profile you should check annually so these are the few things you can do uh, to prevent stroke so uh, when we say about treatment of ischemic stroke we say something called time is brain because uh, unlike other tissues the brain tissue they don't sustain ischemia for a long time uh, each minute we delay uh, in initiating treatment the brain loses 2 millions like 20 lakh neurons per minute so we should know that uh, for stroke uh, time is very very important and uh, we should come to our hospital immediately and once you are in hospital we make it sure you get the right treatment immediately as as early as possible even we have a mechanism if you are doing something else in the ct scan room we stop that doing uh, doing then we, we we make it priority we ship the patient to scan room we do the scan immediately then we have a multi speciality uh, we are a multi speciality hospital so all the speciality doctors are available 24/7 so all attend to the patient uh, like 
neurologist, neurosurgeon, intervention radiologist, we have uh, uh, intensive neurointensivist, uh, we have anesthetist. So, all are available to take care of uh, you. So, once we decide to patient needs this type of treatment, either IV thrombolysis or they need a mechanical thrombectomy for ischemic stroke, we make sure we do it as early as possible because there are guidelines. If we do early, if you do immediately, the chance of recovery becomes better. So, time is brain. So, we should not waste time either at home or in the hospital for treating this type of cases.